how to pursue a girl you like without chasing her. There's a very fine line between attracting and pursuing versus chasing and pedestalizing. So I'm gonna be going over three main techniques you need to know in this video, starting with the beginning of the interaction, then going into setting up a date and getting her phone number, and then even mistakes I see men making when they start dating and texting and talking to the girl. They end up chasing her in one way or another, and this creates a loss of attraction, and ultimately she loses interest, pulls back, and then ghosts to we don't want that to happen. So let's get into this video, starting off with technique number one, which starts at the beginning of the interaction, which is essentially the open itself. So when you go up and you start an interaction with a girl, whether it's daytime, nighttime, even online dating, the underlying frame of the interaction needs to be, I'm a cool, confident dude. I am attracted to you, but I'm just intrigued or curious to see if we mesh or vibe or if there's chemistry here. What it's not is, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I'd love to get to know you. I want to get to know you. I want to take you on a date. I can't believe how hot you are. I'm really nervous. This is a really big deal. I would love to have the chance to interact with you. Right? And I'm not saying that you guys say that, but you do technically communicate that in one way or another. If it's online dating, you send her this generic text message that pedestalizes the girl. If it's during a daytime or nighttime interaction, the way that you go up and approach the girl, the words that you say, the way that you say it, the way that you look at her, your nervousness, all of those things are communicating it's a big deal. And when something is a big deal, it unconsciously pedestalizes the other person. It, it triggers in their psychology that they, this person is intimidated by me to some extent, which means I'm above them, I'm out of their league, they're not used to talking to people of my caliber. So that's what's all going on unconsciously when you can't hold eye contact, when you talk with this nervousness or you don't talk loud or you don't have good tonality or what some of you guys do is verbally you pedestalize the girl right you make it sound like it's a really big deal you go up to her and you're apologetic in your approach you make it sound like you're you're wasting her time you're making it a big deal like you don't do this you haven't done this before with a girl of that quality or that caliber all right so how do we fix this well again when it comes to the initial open it's not a big deal all right you're cool you're calm you're confident so you need to be able to go up to her with good eye contact and i do think at some point in the beginning of the interaction you should to some extent get to the point which is i'm attracted to you and i saw you and i'm, I'm intrigued or you don't need to say those exact words but it needs to be communicated through your vibe and your delivery that i'm attracted to you i'm intrigued by you and for that reason i'm talking to see if there's chemistry or if there's, if there's a good fit here Okay, I'm talking to you to see if we can get to know each other on potentially a slightly deeper level. I'm not sold. I'm not ready to take you on a date. I'm not asking for your number. I'm not asking for your Instagram. Some of you dudes will approach the girl and within one minute, two minutes, you're trying to take her on a date. You're trying to get her IG. You're trying to get her phone number. Chill the fuck out, dude. It's not time yet. That's not what a high value dude would do. That's not what a dude who's confident or has been on dates before would, would treat her that way, okay? So you need to slow down. And that's just the language that women understand too. They're a volume knob. And you need to slowly crank up that volume knob over the course of five to 10 minutes. So don't pounce on the girl. Don't make it a big deal. If it's daytime, I like to go up with something like, hey, excuse me, I just saw you walking by and I, I thought you were cute. I wanted to come over and say, what's up? I really like how you have blank or I just noticed blank, blank. Or I just noticed blank about you. How's your day going? So something very calm, chill, not a big deal, not pedestalizing, not blown away. Oh my God, I need to talk to you. I need to take you out. Calm down, talk normal, talk slow, talk relaxed, put a smile on your face like you're in a good mood and you're confident because you are. That's number one. Now let's move into the interaction. Let's say we've already been talking. We're five, 10 minutes into a conversation. How do we actually go about asking the girl out? Because you guys are doing it wrong. When it's through text conversation, online dating, you're very quick to try to move to a date or some of you dudes text forever and never get to the point. And same thing within person. You guys go up to an interaction and within one to two minutes, you're trying to ask the girl on a date. I don't like that play either. And on the opposite side of it, you guys will talk to a girl for days or weeks or months and never get to the point. So neither of those work. When you never get to the point, it's a very, very friendly interaction and you miss the windows. When you do it too soon, the girl hasn't been warmed up enough and it either comes off thirsty or you might get a phone number or an IG, but it doesn't go anywhere. You text her and then it, it, she doesn't respond or she sends one or two text messages back and then it fizzles out. That means you prematurely got the phone number. The vibe was good enough for her to not want to reject you in the moment, but it was not good enough for when she leaves for her to be thinking about you. You pounced on the number too quick. 
And again, if you did the opposite and you took way too long, you just missed the window, bro. Okay, you just straight up, you just missed the window. So how do we do it? Well, think about this. We open, we're vibing. Now at some point, you want to extend the conversation to 5, 10, 15 minutes is good too, honestly. Somewhere between 5, 10, 15 minutes is what I have found is the sweet spot, especially during daytime. I've been going out daytime every single day for about 60, 65 days in a row at this point. And when I can say consistently phone numbers that actually convert into the girl responding through text and then ultimately lead to dates, it's because I ran somewhere between a 5, 10 to 15 minute interaction. I would say 10 is about the sweet spot. When you start to go lower, you can still convert. But the lower you go, the shorter the interaction, the less the volume knob has been turned up. And as a result, you're going to start to lose the girl. And if you're struggling in that two to five to eight minute range and you need to get better with your conversation skills or create more attraction, or ideally even get the girl chasing you, click the link in the description, okay? You can actually work with me directly to improve these areas of your life and just level up as a man. But that's what I found, guys. It's somewhere between 5, 10, 15 minutes. Even 5, personally, I think is a very short interaction. That's the bare minimum that you want to be striving for. And occasionally, the girl will be late on her way out, really needs to leave. Okay, it is what it is. Sometimes you just don't get the opportunity to run a really good interaction, in which case, you get a phone number, it might not convert, or you get an Instagram, and ideally, you have your Instagram set up properly to dis demonstrate more attraction and build up more trust about who you are as a dude. That's that's just how it is sometimes. But a lot of the times the girl's ejecting and you think she's in a hurry when really you just didn't open properly and you didn't carry the conversation properly and she's not attracted to you. Also because of the way you fucking look and the way you act and your demeanor, all of these things makes it seem like she has to go or she's in a hurry. A lot of the times though, she's not really in a hurry. So you need to be able to distinguish between genuine disinterest or the girl like is intrigued about you, but she legitimately needs to go because there's, there's different factors in there as well. But number two ties into the way that you're asking her out. So you don't want to do it too early. You don't want to do it too late. And then also the way that you ask her out, you don't want to be nervous about it. You don't make it a big deal. You don't say, hey, like, would it be uh, weird or would it be okay if maybe I could get your phone number? Or yeah, I would love to take you on a date sometime. Like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, are you talking to anybody? Or hey, are you single? Or, are you single, by the way? Do you have a boyfriend? Would you, would you actually be down to, I don't know, maybe like uh, go on a date with me? None of these work. Do not do any of these in your conversation. I've heard dudes fuck this up one way or another. It should not be a big deal. The moment you say any one of those things, it indicates, it subcommunicates, it's a big deal. And a big deal turns you into that chasing frame. When it's a big deal, she's above you. And when someone's above you, you need to chase after the person. So when the underlying frame is, we're on the same playing field, we're on the same level caliber wise, no one is chasing, neither of us are chasing each other. And that has to do with the way you're talking, the amount of time you're in the interaction, staying cool, staying calm, and then slowly asking her out. So what that would sound like is we talk about a topic that we both like. We're at that five minute mark, seven minute mark. How, wh what's up with you? Do you have anything fun planned for the weekend? What do you typically like to do for fun? What are you into? What are you passionate about? What are your hobbies? Those are three questions you could ask the girl. If you make it past that two to three minute mark, I would start talking about one of these topics or, or multiple of these topics because I'm then going to figure out what we both like to do. It could be going out for a drink, going out for a coffee, going out for a bite to eat, some kind of physical activity, some kind of outdoors thing, some kind of like entertainment thing, some kind of party thing. It could be anything. That's why you need to be a good conversationalist to figure out what she's into and you talk about yourself at the same time. Now, once we know and we're vibing and we're five, 10 minutes in, now, a couple ways you could ask her out, and these are just different ways. They're all kind of subtle and unique in their own way. So use whichever one is fitting for you. But the most simple one is we should go do blank sometime. We're talking about working out. Oh, we should get a lift in sometime. We should go do blank activity sometime. Oh, you've never been there. We should go to blank sometime. You would love it. That's the most simple way. That's your bread and butter way. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. Don't pedestalize her. Don't chase her. Don't hope that she says yes. We're talking. And very casually, as if I'm literally talking to my mom and I'm telling my mom, you've never been there. I got to take you there sometime. You're going to love it. It's just like that. It's very, very simple. Another way we could say it is a little bit more subtle, depending on our interest level, is I would invite you to come do blank, but I don't know if you could keep up. I would invite you to come do blank, but I don't know because of blank T's. Or a third one would be, I feel like you're the type of girl that if I brought you to blank, you would end up being like blank T's. All right, so you can plug and play any one of these structures to fit the conversation. You could see the first one is just a very simple, not a big deal. I'm inviting you, you should come do this thing. 
The other ones are, are a little bit more teasing, but still half serious ideas of her coming to join me. I would invite you to come get a workout in, but I don't know if you could keep up. I would invite you to come out sometime and party with us, but I don't know if you can keep up. I would invite you to come out sometime, but I don't know, you're low key like trouble or a bad influence. So it doesn't need to be those. I'm just throwing these off the top of my head. Why do I feel like you're the kind of girl that if I invited you to come do blank, I feel like you would just be the one that's like doing blank, right? So you can invite her in a teasing, joking way, and then you'll still get to see her answer about the whole thing. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a big deal. All right, so that's technique number two is how to actually ask her out in a way that's not pedestalizing or chasing and now that we got her out, we got her phone number. That brings me into the final point, number three, which has to do with the texting. Because a lot of you dudes, you end up double texting, triple texting, or texting the girl all day in between the initial interaction leading up to the date. Or if the girl doesn't respond and then you end up texting her again, it starts to set this underlying frame that you're chasing her because of the investment levels. So what I like to do is send a picture. I, when I get the girl's number, the next day, I don't text her, hey, beautiful, hey, good morning, hey, gorgeous, hey, how's your day going? Hey, blah, 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 like, I don't do any of that. What I like to do is send what I call the high value text. I'll throw a picture up on the screen. This is what I typically send the girl the next day. And all I say is, good morning from Brickle, with the coffee emoji. Now, if you don't have a balcony like this, you don't need to do that. But most of you guys should just get one standard picture of yourself somewhere. Doesn't even need to show your face, but it could be a coffee. It could be you having breakfast. It could be you on a laptop doing work somewhere. It could be you at the gym, but you don't want to make it a selfie. You, you want to be able to showcase something about your day and it doesn't need to be anything crazy. What I've noticed is when you run a really good interaction up front, if you just send the picture and then you just say, hey, good afternoon or good morning from blank with an emoji, a lot of the times the girl will respond positively. Almost every time I send that picture, I get a positive response. And I have not had to say, hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, beautiful. I just show my day. The girl then responds. We have a couple messages back and forth. And then I move it back towards the idea of us hanging out or meeting up. So sending a picture is really powerful. If you're unsure which one to do, you can also play around with this by posting pictures on your IG story that are similar concepts and pay attention to the ones that people like or react to or the ones that girls respond to. You can field test the picture, you download the picture, you save it as your favorites in your phone, and then whenever you meet a new girl, you get her number, you leave, and then the next day you could send her the picture saying, hey, good morning from blank, good morning from the office or my office for the day, workout for the day complete, Chef Kyle cooking it up, good morning, whatever it is, any anything that fits you and your lifestyle, but it does not need to be some stupid selfie where you're showing your face, it's just you, which is why it's also powerful because that picture is now timeless. I could forever use that picture. And I know it's good. Girls have responded to it in the past. And it also takes the guesswork out of what can, what do I need to text her now? Send the text, she'll respond, have a couple messages back and forth, and then move it back towards the idea of the already agreed upon date activity, which you did in person. Now, one other powerful technique is you can also send a second picture or video later on in the week to just break up the texting patterns. You don't need to keep sending, hey, good morning, hey, good afternoon, hey, how's your lunch going? That shit is fucking boring and it puts you in the chasing frame, in my opinion. So I'll send that initial picture and then a couple days later, I'll either send a video of me on my bike or I'll send a video of me in the studio filming some content. So whatever works for you guys, it could be you in the gym, it could be you doing activity, if you like rock climbing, if you're at dance class, if you really like coffee, if you love to cook, if you go out on a hike, if you're with your dog for the day, whatever it is, you find a couple good pictures and you just save them in your phone as your favorites. And then you can use these to inject and spice up the texting sequence between the two of you guys. Because when you send a picture, it's not really try hard. But when I send a, hey, good morning, how's your day going? That becomes try hard with consistency. So you want to stack these techniques in order to not make the open a big deal, not pedestalize her, not over compliment her, keep it calm and chill and keep that vibe going throughout the interaction. It's not a big deal. Then it goes into asking her out. It's not a big deal. You subtly bring up the idea that you guys could do something using the techniques I mentioned earlier. And then when you do get the number after a five to 10 to 15 minute interaction, depending on how much time you guys have together, the longer the better, assuming you're doing things right, then you can start the texting sequence off with a, with a good text message, the high value text or pick, gab a couple messages back and forth, and you can always re-engage the conversation the next day or the day after with another picture or video to spice it up, to get away from boring, predictable texting that puts you in the chasing, pursuing frame. So if you wanna get the girl from the open 
all the way to the date and keep her wanting you, craving you, keeping that attraction high from date one, day two, day three and beyond. And really to just build your social confidence as a man and dominate all these levels, guys, I can help you with that. I have coaching programs in place. The links are in the description. Check those out. Summer's right around the corner. It's a great time to level up these areas of your life. That's all for this video. Peace out.